Hello everybody, I am Fedora Gamer and welcome to another episode of Incoming Indie where we take a look at interesting in development indie games. Today we are looking at Zombie Hunter Inc. the alpha build. This game is still very much in early development, the campaign isn't in the game yet, it is just basically a free play kind of, I think it's probably endless mode. But let's go ahead and jump into it. Clearly it's about zombies, shooting zombies. There is two player which is two player on the same screen. We'll go ahead and play single player since I do not have the ability to clone myself quite yet, so... Here you choose what weapons you're able to buy throughout your game. You choose five of your primary weapons and one secondary weapon that you can buy. And I guess I, I should try a different weapon. The Kukuri hasn't been too useful. The grenades are really expensive, but you know, plastic explosive sounds cool. And I'll stick with this build I have here. No, wait, I didn't want to do that. One, I don't really like the SMGs. We'll go with a combat shotgun. And it's pretty simple. You prevent the zombies from going to the right side of the screen. You're that's to protect your client. You're like some kind of zombie killing mercenary. You get money by killing the zombies. I'm using a gamepad right now, but there is keyboard controls that work just fine. Getting reloaded. There is a little bit of an interesting reload mechanic. If you time it right, you can get a faster reload. If you time it wrong, it actually makes your reload much, much slower. Or you can just leave it alone and let it do it at its normal pace. Messing up those reloads can very easily hose you in this game. And it is... Most of the time I end up losing because of messing up a reload, which makes the reload much, much slower. If you're not really good at it, it's actually better to just let the game handle it. And I do have enough money to buy the next weapon, which there is a quick buy, which will buy the highest value weapon that you have the money for, which is now the dual pistols. I should have just waited until I had enough for the, uh... I don't know, oh, crap, I screwed up. I should have just waited until I had enough for the next gun, actually. I could have probably held out with the just general pistols. Oh, and you see one flying, that's because there's a big guy throwing it. Okay, I do have enough for the big gun now, which has a nice pierce effect. Low ammo, high damage, and pierce. This big guy takes a hell of a lot of damage, and we need to try to get some headshots on him. I'm not going to screw up on my reloading right now. That would hose me. Okay, big guy, die, please. Getting headshots gives you bonus money. He is not dead, he just falls down first. Okay, we'll try to take him out, get some headshots, more damage, more money. Now he's taken care of. You can switch directions, thank god, otherwise that would have been hosed right there. You can check out your entire inventory here of weapons you can buy, and I, I can't buy anything else until 4,000, so I have a big gap in money because I don't like those mid-range weapons. These guys are considerably faster, much bigger pain in the butt. I actually really like this gun compared to any of the other ones you can get at mid-range. Shotguns, at least the first shotgun, doesn't actually have a reload mechanic. It reloads one shell at a time, which you can then interrupt and fire however many shells you have reloaded. I'm not too fond of the shotguns so far. Okay, take care of you. You're not dead. Neither of them are dead. That was scary. I'm not messing with the reload. I will hose myself if I do that. And it's, it's a pretty simple game, really. Um, it definitely is really difficult. Just bloody die. Uh-oh. You stop crawling so fast. Thank you. Yeah, it's definitely extremely difficult. It feels like it's balanced for two players, even when you're playing one player. Though it might be that I'm just terrible. You do have a jump, by the way, which doesn't seem to serve a whole lot of purpose unless you want to jump over enemies, because they can grapple you and you have to play a kind of a quick time event. Okay, we have dogs. Um, it'd be better if I get a shotgun for these guys. And I lost, because the dogs, once they get about halfway through, rush it and I don't know what's a good weapon to use against them I could have pulled out the plastic explosives I guess if I could get up to the AK that'd be really nice 
this I do like that pistol though. It's I don't know. It feels like and kind of looks like the RoboCop gun. So we'll try again. That's about the furthest I've ever gotten in the game. Okay, we had a little bug there in my leftover reload bar was going. All right, come on, zombies! Zombie zombies are interesting models. They are they like have no neck. They're like Oompa Loompa zombies. So that's what this game is. It's a game about killing zombies. It's a good bit of mindless fun. Not a whole lot of depth to the game. It is still very much an alpha though, and I am interested in seeing what comes with the campaign. Might be a little on the difficult side in my opinion. Like one enemy getting to the exit means instant game over is kind of annoying. I wish you had like a life factor that you could spend money on to refuel it. Kind of like a tower defense type of mechanic. Like a barricade at the edge or be able to buy barricades that would block a you know, certain number of zombies. We are just going to skip right to the bigger gun which would give us more money in the long run. Big gun. Wham. This gun definitely feels nice and meaty. I like this gun a lot. I don't want to mess with reloading though because I always, always end up screwing myself that way. Okay, we need to take care of this big guy, like, now. Okay, he's down for a second, which gives us time to take care of these guys. Reload quickly, please. Took care of him. Nope, I screwed up the reloading. You can see, this takes forever if you mess up the reloading. I, if I would have done that, I would have been game over. I wish... I was faster. That's the, my biggest wish in this game. I wish there was a way to upgrade your movement speed. It, it's a big area to cover when you're playing single player. Now if you're playing two player, I could, it could be very possible. One person covers the top half, one co person covers the bottom half. Problem solved. You know, it's sorted. Manageable. I have three shots left. I want to take this guy out before I reload. These little guys aren't too much for trouble. They're fairly slow. You know, they're, they're your quintessential zombies. Reload while I have the ch Damn it, while I have the chance. I'm just gonna try to get to 6,000. You're not dead. Quit moving around so much. Thank you. Okay, dogs. Bad, bad, bad. Get, ah, the dogs. I have to have the SMGs to take out of those dogs. You know, I don't really like the SMGs. I guess I could try for the 5,000. But anyway, that is Zombie Hunter Inc. Still very early development. The current game mode is kind of shallow, just kind of an endless mode. Definitely be a lot more fun if you have a second player with you, and it might be considerably more manageable if you do. But it it's it's in development still, and why did the words change? Apparently, I changed the language. Dot. Okay, press F1 to switch to English. Yes, please. Thank you. <laughs> I'm not sure how I did that. I guess I hit F1 accidentally. But it's Zombie Hunter Inc. You can get this alpha for free on their website, which I will link in the description. Of course, you can go play it yourself. And as it says here, the campaign demo comes in 2004, summer 2014. So in the nearish future. I'm Fedora Gamer. If you liked this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.